so let's discuss about snappy hex mesh with the help of couple of tutorials okay so in the last session mm, we gone through all the entries in the snappy hex mesh dix file okay so let's uh, today try to solve couple of tutorials so it give us the better idea so let's explore the snappy hex dix file okay so this is let's say snappy hex uh, mesh uh, dict file and uh, if you want to start uh, exploring tutorials okay so uh, then this file must be available in the system folder okay so if we go to any of the tutorials so here is the first basic step so that allow us to control the entire execution or the creation of the snappy x mesh so first is the castell mesh control uh, snap mesh control okay then if you want to add layer then this flag value is very very essential then we have a certain uh, subdirectory inside the snappy hex dix one is the geometrical uh, directory file that will define the geometry entities uh, for creating the mesh or that will be used to create the mesh that is first di directory here we either import the mesh sorry import the stl file and this stl file we supposed to keep inside the constant folder there is a tri surface folder so we keep one stl file here and we try to read the stl file and then we give the name to the whatever the surface available or the patch available inside the stl file we give the name to that uh, file okay here zone region wise then we can define our own refinement boxes okay and with the help of this box we can refine the mesh wherever we require okay so, and then we another uh, directory we have after geometry is a, a castell mesh control uh, definition of feature surface or volume mesh refinement everything will be here okay so it give the uh, very nice uh, hex based mesh with the help of this uh, all the options so here we have a localized refinement okay and uh, along with that uh, we can give the zonal refinement feature refinement everything so we try to explore each and every entry okay with the help of the tutorial so you will uh, understand what is going on then we have a refinement based on the uh, refinement box so this refinement box we define at a geometrical level so please understand that way okay at a geometry we have to define first, uh, first box and within that box what different class of refinement you require based on that you can set the parameter here okay then the location in the mesh so this give us the idea either we go with the internal mesh or the external mesh okay then after this uh, castell mesh control we have a snap control so definition of surface mesh snapping and advanced parameter that is covered with this snap control okay here uh, our important uh, entities or the uh, command is this n solve iter okay if you if you see that exactly your surface is not warping properly with the mesh then you can increase this uh, iterations okay then we have a add layer so definition boundary layer meshing and advanced parameter we can set with the add layer control okay and uh, here we can control the uh, boundary layer type of the mesh with the help of the expansion ratio final uh, layer thickness or the first layer thickness and uh, we can give the layering for different different mesh uh, sorry different different patch as well Okay, so that is all control available here then feature angle uh, resolution all this thing okay so we try to cover this with the help of the tutorials you understand uh, what is the meaning of these all entries okay then at the last we have a quality control check and for that either you plug entire quality uh, mesh control dict here or you can uh, create a new file and with the help of that file you can specify the required mesh quality like maximum non orthogonal orthogonality skewness canvas minimum volume maximum area minimum area uh, determinant fa uh, minimum volume ratio all this thing is uh, by default right now whatever the value is set it is appropriate for maximum class of the mesh but sometime if you think you have to tune the parameter then go ahead and tune this so this is how entirely snappy x dictionary uh, is look like so first portion is geometry then castell mesh control then snap control add layer and mesh quality control okay so entire this uh, snappy x max dix file is divided in total five zone okay and uh, so let's uh, uh, understand with the help of the very first basic tutorial how we going to execute this uh, one uh, 
snappy hex mesh file so for that let's go to the tutorial number one okay so uh, here we have a couple of tutorial in advanced tutorial uh, uh, 01 folder so we start with the first tutorial and let's look at the readme file as usual so let's first uh, start with our uh, environment variable go to the directory okay set the environment variable as usual what we did in the basic module so we are here okay so first step in the mesh generation first identify your stl file so quickly check how the stl file look like in the paraform okay so let's open the paraform okay so when we open go to the open file go to the constant try surface and this stl file okay so this is our stl file so let's say this is the er uh, ellipse short of and uh, we want to construct the mesh uh, and we require the flow over uh, this ellipse so we are talking about the external mesh not the internal inside of this okay so this is our one surface and uh, if you see this surface it is uh, uh, in three dimensional okay but please understand snappy x uh, work in 3d but later on i will show you even how you can construct the 2d mesh with the snappy hex but we start with the three dimensional mesh uh, development inside the snappy hex so this is our surface okay now let's say we are talking about external class of the flow where we want the flow over this uh, particular ellipse okay so what we required we required the outer bounding box so that outer bounding box we try to create with the help of the uh, block mesh file so let's first execute block mesh file command Okay, before that let's clean the case okay if anything available let first clean that then let's go for block mesh okay so when you finish the block mesh what going to happen first check in the paraform okay so paraform this is our block mesh and let's uh, also open the stl file so let me put it something like this way wireframe okay so we completely created bounding box around the our important part okay so let's ellipse put it as a solid surface okay so this is our um, ellipse and we are required the flow or ellipse okay so whenever you require the external aerodynamic type of the case first create the bounding box that will completely cover your domain so this idea about this bounding box is very simple okay let me first construct one this file this is fine okay so let's say this is our uh, right now mid plane okay so uh, we remember from the basics that if this is the external aerodynamic type of the case then this is its characteristic length so inlet supposed to be at least eight characteristic length characteristic length away from this obstacle same way outlet is something like 18 characteristic length away from this obstacle and top or bottom is something like five to six characteristic length away from this particular uh, obstacle okay but uh, here i created very small domain so when you exactly constructing for your calculation let's say flow or circular cylinder or so try to follow the same thing but based on this okay we have to say what's supposed to be the bounding box inside the block mesh file so let's open the block mesh file okay so block mesh dict file give ex as usual we are defining the our variables and then uh, cells on respective size uh, respective directions okay and one very important as aspect here is this thing so that please uh, remember this part when you are uh, creating the uh, base mesh okay so few fundamental thing you have to take into account about the base mesh so base mesh supposed to be like a regular hex class of the mesh okay it don't possess any triangular or any pyramid or tetrahedral element okay so our starting mesh is always like a, a pure hex type of the mesh and this whatever the hex that is going to cut the our surface or the edges of the, the geometry make sure it is uh, its aspect ratio is one okay uh, and at least 
minimum one cell supposed to cut the geometry of our uh, computational domain okay let's say you construct that big size of the cell then entire one cell uh, our geometry is within one cell so it will not uh, trigger the calculation for snappy hex mesh okay so three thing remember one uh, regular hex class of the uh, base mesh required second aspect ratio near the edge or the wall of the uh, stl file supposed to be one third one at least one cell supposed to cut the uh, geometry or the edge of the uh, stl file okay so that is its uh, few requirements so with the help of that we can quickly start uh, creating the required mesh file so let's look at how it's going to work so this is our stl file okay so let's go back so we kept the stl file here ellipse all dot stl now with this stl file we try to create the mesh so for that we have to edit few things in the our snappy x mesh dix file so first entry we have to define the geometrical parameter here we are not adding the layer so let it false later on we add okay geometry whatever the name we specified in the st uh, tri surface the same name we have to use in the snappy x mesh file so whatever the stl file we kept inside the uh, tri surface area the same stl file we going to read in the geometrical entity uh, we say type is the tri surface mesh and name of the patch whatever is inside right now with this particular um, file we have only one patch that means if you look at entire this uh, ellipse okay entire this ellipse has a single surface name that is how i created this ellipse okay uh, but later on we see if each surface has a different name how to resolve that okay but let's start with this so we only have a one patch name how we know that we have only one patch name you can open this and edit so we have only solid patch equal to zero one patch we have in the entire domain and patch end with the zero if you have multiple patch then you have a multiple name here like patch one two three four as many patch name you gave inside your CAD modeler same name appear here okay so here we know that only one patch uh, name is available so we are starting with that then okay so, uh, let's go to the snappy x mesh file uh, mesh dict file so we specifying the stl file in the geometrical area okay and we have only one surface so we say okay its name is wall uh, stl surface okay then we are refinement box if we required we specify the refinement box within this refinement box um, uh, we get a refined uh, mesh within this particular box okay you can define as a sphere or a rectangular box or anything okay so few more geometrical entity we are defining here okay if you don't want to define just comment it and go ahead and just look at the base mesh then in the castle uh, mesh control we are not changing anything let each entry as a by default okay so later on we uh, try to tune this few parameters okay so we have only one uh, refinement surface wall surface and this is the level okay so slowly you understand what is the level so as i told you from our user manual okay so level is nothing but this one okay so uh, this is base mesh from the base mesh this is uh, uh, base mesh to level one so let it uh, look at at a different location where we didn't snap the mesh okay so it is much clear yeah in this location so this is our base mesh from the base mesh we have a level one from the level one what we did we divide the base mesh into four part and then level two one part again divided into four part that is level uh, two then again that small part again you divide then level three so and so forth you are increasing the levels okay so that is the levels from so right now we are going from uh, level number two okay so that is what we have here then uh, we have a some resolve feature options okay so let it be by default uh, entry everything then if you want the let's say refinement within the box you can change this level right now it is only one so it's not going to uh, affect okay so base mesh is only going uh, take into account within this refinement box okay if you want to refine the box you can increase this size okay it is inside so that's why this value is immaterial okay if you specify the distance then uh, the distance from this box either uh, it will try to change the levels okay then 
we have a location so we specify this locations okay so this location if this location fall inside of this particular geometry okay then we it uh, we get a internal mesh but whatever the location we kept it is outside of this geometry okay so we get an external mesh so that is that locations okay then we have a snap control so don't change anything in the snap control as well okay so by default we start with the same mm, setting okay so that is uh, how you can quickly generate the first mesh so let's first generate the mesh and have a feeling what exactly happened okay then we slowly again come back and try to uh, understand each and every entry so block mesh give us the base mesh then snappy hex mesh we try to execute this command so now it's uh, calculating and generating the mesh okay so let's wait for one or two minutes it will finish it off okay so look here you get so much so many output because i uh, activate the debugging debug flag on okay so to show you the different output so I normally you comment this area and uh, uh, execute the mesh so you will not get the all that outputs okay but let's understand what exactly happened at a meshing level so para form so this is our base mesh okay so on the base mesh we started creating the castel mesh okay so this is the castel mesh here okay so let me switch on the surface so you understand exactly what is happening with the each step okay so i store intermediate all the steps okay so slowly in what different step enter mesh is created i will show you that part let me opaque this you'll understand exactly what happened so this is uh, the mesh let me also cut the this particular mesh so we have better idea and on that show the grid file and activate this okay so look this is how this is our basic mesh okay and uh, this is our obstacle and when we started we have a only the basic mesh okay so step by step you can now see what is happening here so this is our background mesh and when we started uh, executing the snappy hacks slowly it triggered the creation of all the blocks so slowly look it try to resolve the required block so based on the levels okay so we give the two level refinement so it try to refine the mesh look at again this is base mesh okay then we divide each cell into two part so concentrate here okay so this is our base mesh and this part is divided in four then we again sorry four part and again one part is divided in four because we gave here the two level refinement near the our surface sorry here okay in the castle control near the uh, surface we gave this two level of refinement to uh, refine near the entire surface okay so that is what two level of refinement so please understand again so this is our base mesh and this is first level refinement okay so one cell is divided in four part near to the our surface then one part that means this one okay again divided into the four more part look this part again divided in four mode part okay if you want further capturing then go to the third level fourth level like that but then again this divided in the sub part sub part so bigger size divided in four part one part again divided in four part okay so that is the level two basic is zero one and two okay like that way we are uh, uh, using this particular control okay S min max so here we have a mean and max so it's based on the requirement it it can go but you can explicitly say everywhere we have a two level refinement or everywhere you have a three level or minimum two maximum five level depending on the surface capturing it can go and refine it okay so depending on the surface here is the regular surface let's say in uh, this case we have a sharp corner so look everywhere it is only two 
sorry uh, one level refinement okay but here in this corner it has a two level so minimum is one maximum is two or three then based on our requirement it try to refine wherever it's needed okay so this is the that first level uh, and second level refinement then we look then what we do now we started removing the un uh, not required all the cells okay so whatever the cell is not required we try to remove why it is removing from inside because of this one command that we kept here in this location in mesh so we kept this location outside of this domain that's why we are removing cell within the domain let's say you kept the location inside of this then uh, at a time it remove all the external uh, all the outer uh, mesh and it only keep the internal mesh okay so that is how you can understand so slowly it try to snap castled okay so it like a casting process so castled mesh so it try to wherever we required it try to chop down and finish now look after that we try to this is castled okay so if you look at here our entire uh, boundary is uh, warped with the zigzag way okay, let me little bit reduce its opaque capacity so we understand okay so look here we have a zigzag way we are warping entire surface but uh, l uh, when we do the snapping okay so when we finish when we start the snapping it, it's slowly warping the entire surface okay so slowly so this is the snapping snapping iterations okay so when the iteration increase it slowly try to resolve better way okay so look slowly it try to resolve entire surface very nicely okay so this is how our entire warp surface class of the mesh you can see from this way okay so this is how the mesh is generated okay so let's go back again so now you have a little bit better idea about this uh, entire entry so in the snappy x we have total five uh, sub directory one is geometry castel mesh control try to uh, create a uh, castel mesh then we have snap control the snap control is nothing but whatever the zigzag type of the mesh you see okay that mesh now it's warping over the over this mesh is after the castel mesh then when you do the snapping what it do it try to project on the nearby surface and edge all the uh, uh, this castel mesh and it, it give us the nicely warped mesh with this control uh, um, uh, with that was snap control then add layer and mesh uh, quality control okay so if we uh, go back and check here so this is the stl file okay is uh, uh, this file is read from which folder this file is read from the folder uh, from the constant and the tri surface okay so please remember that you have to keep that name then we have a uh, we specify this wall name so this name is appear inside the uh, your meshing file so when you do check mesh okay S sorry check mesh and latest time when you do this is the final mesh so this is coming from the uh, block mesh dict file uh, why because we define the bounding box name like this way and this name we specify inside the snappy hex mesh this file okay so this is that name it's appear here okay so this is the name w what are the name you required or on which you want to give the boundary condition that name is appear here okay so this is that uh, if you go into the final latest one okay so this is the latest one poly mesh and boundary file so that is the name let me open in for regular text editor okay so this is the seven patch name uh, six for bounding box and one name we specified as a wall stl surface okay inside the snappy hex mesh file and over this we're going to define the boundary conditions okay so name of the surface inside the snappy hex mesh so that appear here okay then uh, let's go back here then zonal base refinement if you want then we say use this option if there i have a uh, stl with a multiple patch defined okay so in one stl we have a multiple patch defined then we're going to use these options and uh, uh, we give the zonal name with the help of this like a second patch name okay third patch name whatever we want to specify so this name coming from the particular uh, patch uh, that is coming from the solid modeling 
name of the zone in the STL file. Okay, so let's say one STL file you constructed and it has a patch one two three. So that name appear here and and what are the name you have to specify within the open form that name come here. Okay, so that is what uh, you can specify user defined patch name. This is the final name for the patch. This one. Okay, then we have a zonal refinement. Okay, so geometrical entity. Uh, we gave the, this as a name as a whatever you have to give the, uh, whatever the name you want to give you specify this name okay uh, so in this uh, with the help of this name you can control later on all the required things so that is available here you have a box type sphere type okay then we have a searchable sphere so that I showed you in our master file so let's quickly go there so here you get a multiple entry like a uh, here sphere okay so searchable sphere so centroid uh, of the center of the sphere and the radius and it construct the sphere out of it okay so so uh, let's say you want to uh, want this geometrical entity are available just misspell here okay so what different class of geometrical entity is available if let's say you don't know then just uh, misspell here and it give the different name of the available geometrical entity what i mean to say is something like this way let's say we type test okay and uh, let me first clean the mesh okay so let's clean everything okay and then if you type again the snappy hex mesh it give us the error okay so look that many entity is available uh, searchable box cylinder disk plane plate sphere okay and tri surface mesh so tri surface mesh is uh, pe uh, we require when we are importing the stl file this is the searchable okay so you can construct any type of this shape within the uh, snappy hex mesh and inside that uh, particular uh, shape you can resolve the uh, mesh that is the idea okay so you can misspell and find out what different entry is available here so you can do that okay then uh, let's go to the castle control so castle control uh, we can uh, define the features okay so till now we didn't specify the features okay but s features allow us to resolve the certain things so uh, I will show you quickly what is the problem with the this first mesh so let me construct the mesh okay so it give you the idea what exactly the problem with this mesh uh, something is missing in this particular mesh so let's quickly check and then you get an idea what is the meaning of that features entry refinement okay so let's go to the paraform okay go to the last mesh entry let's switch off everything and we want this surface mesh only and let's look at the mesh okay so look if you look at this particular uh, ellipse okay so we not able to resolve this entire boundary of this ellipse okay if uh, so that features we are missing so wherever in inside your CAD model file very sharp features available so we first have to extract that features okay and then we have to resolve that feature so for that that entry is available here features refinement so in the next tutorial we do that and you understand what exactly uh, we able we have to do for refinement okay so here also you have a levels uh, you have to set okay for proper refinement okay then we can refine based on the surface so whatever the surface name we gave in the geometrical entity here we have only one name let's say multiple uh, surface then you have one two three four five names so based on that surface uh, name okay surface based refinement you can do so here uh, we did uh, only one refinement with the our one surface okay then we you can uh, go uh, and give the uh, something like a refinement zone based refinement okay so like we construct the uh, refinement region as a refinement box so this is the name that we specify in here refinement box and on that box we can uh, refine the required element okay so that is what you can do it here then we have a location in mesh entry file okay it allows us to go with internal or external mesh that is the idea behind that okay so let's uh, a few more entry try to explore okay in this castle file so if you look at in the castle file we have a couple of more few entry that is uh, important this is 
n cell between level 1 ok uh, so we define the 2 as the n cell between level 1 so what it going to do uh, so control the transition between cell refinement levels ok so it give us the idea how the uh, when you go from one level to another level how quick or how slow you have to refine the uh, levels ok so when we execute the tutorial you come to know but this is give us the smooth transition from one level to the another level ok so that is uh, very important ok then we have a another resolve features angle options ok so let us look at that resolve features angle options so this is very very important ok this parameter control the local curvature refinement ok the higher the value the least feature is captured ok so uh, when we increase the value less feature is going to be captured okay so if you want the more features then go towards the lower value okay so that is what uh, we uh, we can control so let's say you have a very large uh, so many tiny tiny large number of small uh, small curvatures then you have to go with the smaller value of this feature refinement and you able to capture everything okay so for example if you use 100 it will not add refinement in higher curvature area it also control edge feature snapping higher value will not resolve sharp angle in the surface intersections okay so if we are expecting some surface intersection is sharp angle then we go with the lower value and you can have a, a better control there okay uh, this uh, features refinement okay whatever we are looking at here okay uh, sorry switch off that features refinement yeah here okay so uh, this features refinement is a very very powerful tool it will allow you to control extract first curvature okay so with the help of that we able to extract the curvature but that is sometimes not enough well, we require this angle resolution as well okay so it always goes uh, both together features refinement and this uh, resolve angle features both together okay so we have to tune these two parameter and be able to capture entire curvature from your um, over any of the geometry okay then uh, we if we look at here uh, refinement uh, surface based uh, refinement okay so surface based refinement if you see we this is the name uh, what we specify so surface name defined in the geometrical section it's come here okay then uh, th if we have multiple zones okay so we have a uh, another entry we have a different class of the zone and for the zonal base you can do the refinement okay so uh, for each different zone you can go with the different uh, refinement so that is the how one can control the different patch base refinement with the help of this but please understand for that we require the different name of the surface inside the STL file okay so idea is very uh, simple if you want the localized refinement on then construct the different name of that particular surface when you are creating your solid modeling okay then you get a better uh, control uh, for individual surfaces okay so that is how you can uh, control few things with the help of this okay so let's uh, go to the next tutorial so this is very basic things what we observe here uh, if we don't go for features refinement we are losing this information okay so first rectify this information and then we go towards much much detail aspect of it okay so let uh, quickly go to the next tutorial okay so let me first clean the case here let us go to the next tutorial ok so in the next tutorial what we have is few more thing here so let me first go to the next tutorial area ok so let us open readme file so here we have a surface feature extractions ok so what are the features we want to extract we have to use one surface feature extraction utility and with the help of that we can extract the required features very neatly so that is the idea behind that okay 
so uh, let's uh, look at very quickly how we can do that uh, particular features uh, uh, refinement okay so for that uh, maybe we have to use certain utilities from paraform as well okay so let's first go to the area and first start the paraform okay so it's going to give error because uh, till we didn't generate the block mesh file that's why it's giving the error it's fine okay so constant and tri surface this is our okay so let's say we want to resolve this entire peripheral core okay but what angle one supposed to give for resolutions okay so let's before that just go to the here we have a uh, surface feature extraction dict file okay so that will allow us to control so include angle is 150 so how we know that which angle one has to take into account for that take a help of it uh, paraform it give you the little idea okay so let's say this is our uh, geometry we are in interested to extract this feature so for that go to the filter area and find out the feature angle uh, from the alphabetic i already used so it is available for me in the recent area so feature angle use this okay and uh, you play with this angle okay so when you say 80 it's not going to give you any extraction of features okay if you give higher value so lowest value we try to extract all the tiny tiny features but i don't want to resolve all this line i'm interested to resolve couple of lines that is at the periphery of entire of this surface okay so for that this is the 30 if i keep the 30 as angle i know that i able to resolve look this core very neatly okay so that is my requirement so this 30 is the angle that is coming from the uh, para form okay so you have to uh, uh, subtract this whatever the angle is para form giving from 180 degree and kept it here so include include angle is this is that one whatever this giving is the exclude angle okay so but we require the include angle so 180 minus 30 so that value goes here as a 150 okay so if we go with uh, 0 and uh, 180 slowly you can see it try to resolve all the edges and the zero edges okay so that is what uh, we can see like that way but we require intermediate so for this i know that it is 30 is the value so from here you identify what are the core you needed okay uh, as a features uh, refinement you can identify the angles and uh, subtract that angle from 180 and keep it here okay so here also you have to give the stl file name because from that stl file name it going to extract the features okay so here is the extract features option based on that uh, here requirement is two line only one is the stl file and the in include angle uh, and let all other entry as a by default okay so uh, let's run this particular command and let's look at what exactly happened after that execution of command so if we run this command before that let's clean the case then let's extract the features okay when you extract the feature is it feature is extracted after feature is extracted what going to happen when the feature is extracted in the tri surface you will see this dot e mesh file additional file is generated okay and this give you the idea about all the extracted features points okay that is the its uh, uh, connectivity and all the information is available here so uh, for features refinement we going to use this file name inside the uh, snappy x mesh file and finish the refinement let's generate plus uh, first block mesh file okay and let first quickly generate the mesh so what is the difference we quickly check okay so mesh we generated So let's look at both the things refined one and non refined one. Okay, so you have an idea what is the difference. So let's paraform. Okay, so paraform go to the latest one. Okay, and we are interested in only one surface. Okay, and let's open this. So look, this is with the surface refinement. Okay, let me show you without surface refinement one. Okay, so let's okay. 
so i'm opening both the things together that's why i kept that open go to the previous one okay sorry i delete the mesh so i have to first generate the mesh there so let me quickly do that so block mesh and we required the snappy hex mesh So mesh is generated let's go and quickly open the file so here also we required only the last patch so I'm opening that okay so let me create two files one is here and another is here okay so it give you the idea what is the difference so with this is with surface refinement and this is without surface refinement look what is the difference you can see if we not go with the surface refinement we're not able to capture this all the edges correctly okay that is what we needed so this is the particular uh, way you can resolve with the help of this for surface features extraction when you extract this the file is created here now we're going to use this file inside the uh, snappy hex mesh file so let's quickly look at what change we have to do here so in the snappy hex mesh file everything is same we are reading stl file we gave the name zonal refinement later on if you want to use everything same but here look in the features refinement we gave features refinement as ellipse all mesh okay so with the help of that we able to refine the age but we didn't uh, capture very neatly because later on we give the more layer and be able to capture this all the ages correctly okay so that we're going to do uh, uh, very quickly but with the activation of this particular features okay we able to extract this age in the previous case that option was not uh, activated okay so this is it's uh, two fundamental difference if you uh, uh, go with the width and without uh, features x uh, extractions okay so that is how one can uh, do the uh, this features extraction for that please remember you have to go to the para view and inside the para view you have to go to the uh, filter area and look at the features refinement age options okay and then uh, tune the angles and whatever the angle you get you have to deduct that angle from 180 degree okay and you specify that angle inside the uh, surface feature extraction dict file okay and we can able to extract all the sharp angles and everything with the help of that okay so that is uh, what uh, we did here okay so this is how one can uh, refine the uh, uh, features very quickly okay let's do a uh, few more thing with the help of this uh, refined version of the tutorials okay so let me uh, close this and close this as well okay so features we extracted that is uh, what we needed okay but now let's uh, play with couple of few more entry here uh, so if you give the features uh, refinement as a more level okay so let's give the few more level here so it give you the idea okay so let's again execute the snappy hex mesh file So what difference you going to observe please uh, uh, check huh? so right now we gave the few more levels of refinement near the age okay so when we give this levels of refinement we will have a very nice capturing of all the ages okay so let's see what exactly the difference we get okay so let's switch off this switch on this sorry i didn't again extract no i was in the first tutorial only ellipse one that's why okay, let me go to the uh, that one okay sorry so let me run the case here so make sure i edited it second file only yes i edited correct file but i executed the wrong one So 
so with this we have a better capturing of our all the features that is the idea behind that okay so we gave the higher level near the required features okay okay so look now wherever this our required features we go to till second level so this is our base mesh from the base mesh okay we have first level and then the second level so all our edges wherever we gave we gave a finer refinement okay so this is how you can go with a higher level of refinement okay and you can capture very nicely all the uh, required features very neatly okay so look so one to two two to three three to four sorry it is fourth level of refinement not second level okay and if you go with the fourth level of refinement you have a very nice capturing in the previous case we don't have a there is uh, everywhere we have a uh, zero level refinement so whatever the age we capture is based on the base mesh but now we use the uh, high features refinement options so we able to exactly uh, create very nice mesh so let's uh, me show you the internal mesh so it give you the better idea okay so this is the mesh file okay and let's cut it uh, in the y directions let's say so if we cut in the y direction and let's see the entire age okay so near all the age we have a very nice uh, capturing of entire thing okay so this is how we can we put it this way okay so this is the entire uh, all the cells near to the uh, our boundary okay so let me show you again our previous files So that we cut like this way in the y direction okay so that is why you can see the at a corner you can see some class of refinement okay but this is how you can capture very nicely uh, this uh, uh, features resolutions okay uh, let's uh, go with uh, something like surface based refinement and few more options okay so it give us uh, some few more idea so let's uh, change few more things okay so this is okay what i do i i create multiple directory for comparison that is better okay so let me do that so whatever the changes we are doing let's uh, try to uh, retain that changes okay so let's go back to the previous one okay so slowly we try to uh, go with the better mesh so wherever you require you can compare the files okay so I am constructing some few more sub directories of uh, tutorial number two. Okay, so for tutorial number two, I am constructing few more sub directories. Okay, so that is what. Let's say this is the tutorial number two. Okay, so inside the tutorial number two, let's create the case one. Okay, and inside the case one, we are keeping all these files. Okay, so that is our base case. Then we say case number two then case number three okay let's say case bkp if we require to modify so case number one let's start with the case number one okay so we are in the case number one and with the basic uh, all the let without saving close this because it missed the path okay so let's again do the features extraction in everything okay and let's uh, run the snappy x mesh file so this is case one okay what is the difference in the case one so what we did we uh, from the snappy x mesh okay we have a uh, surface based refinement but but we didn't give any layer uh, levels or layer on it and please remember uh, we have a here uh, surface wise level 2 2 okay as well as uh, resolution angle is 60 okay so few changes we are doing and let's see uh, what uh, different observation we get from that so let's go to the paraform case one okay 
so let's go to the last one so slowly we try to develop entire mesh so you can understand what is the meaning of each and every so if we go with the features extraction we get a very nice extraction of features but till we not able to resolve this age appropriately okay so why i can say it's not resolved appropriately because if you load the stl file it give you the entire idea what is the problem okay so uh, if you zoom it look at some places we not able to cover entire age and so many things okay so and this even at the near the age or number of element is also very less so if you want to go with a large number of element then we go with the next level of refinement so that is our case number two okay so i'm not deleting this file okay let me case number one i'm keeping this file as well okay let's rename this as a test so everywhere it will remain let's go to case number two okay in the case number two what we're going to do we again going to extract the features but uh, at a zone this features refinement we're giving some layers let's say four layer okay when you give the four layer and let's uh, go to the place other place and try to execute the command okay so let's look at okay so what we are doing we are slowly refining and uh, adapting few more features here okay so let's create a mesh here okay but this time we have a more layer near the features so we're going to get few more entries uh, nice mesh here that is the idea So let's say mesh is generated let me open the file from second case so second case okay case number two so case number two let's open and we required the final entry file okay so let's look at how it's look like here we have this file here we have this file so look when you give the refinement okay features refinement you have a this class of uh, entry okay so let me put it here that is better because we require few more entry here so we have at a time everything okay so this is with one modification what modification i did i change this level to four okay so i change this level to the four but the basic refinement is uh, something like a uh, basic refinement that means uh, as a surface level we have a refinement equal to two two okay so what it, uh, what i am saying is here our features resolution is 60 only i didn't change and uh, where is our surface refine yeah this is 2 2 okay let's go to the next case so you have an idea when we changing uh, different thing what exactly happening okay so let me uh, go to the case number 3 okay and uh, uh, here for case number 3 i am changing few more things here so here let's uh, have a features refinement perfectly all right okay but this uh, i keep it as a zero only but at a surface level okay at a surface uh, level where is surface yeah here at a surface level i am changing from two to four okay so wherever required try to go with a higher uh, refinement wherever not required not go for higher refinement okay so that is the idea behind that and so please understand in previous case we gave four level here now we change minimum two and maximum four level refinement we didn't change the uh, surface resolutions okay Res resolve surface features then what exactly happening just check very quickly so if we go with this then let's see okay so let me create this file as well here okay let's create few more case 
with the help of this let's say case number four case number five okay if required right now we are here so okay it's done so let me open one more case so you understand open go to the case number three okay apply okay switch off it we required the last value only so let's go to the last and we don't want this only these features okay let it put it in two ways okay so if you look at here look so either this is without uh, here what we did please understand this is first one surface resolution we didn't change okay here level 2 2 okay and uh, we have a, a features by 0 so this is this portion so only we uh, start extracting the features but we didn't resolve the features very neatly then in the second case what we did we change this level to 4 we didn't change this uh, surface level okay but we change this level to 4 here okay then in the third one we again uh, we change surface refinement level here okay 2 to 4 and minimum to maximum 4 okay and uh, we didn't give features based resolution here okay so if you compare both of them look it's almost similar type of the mesh you get it okay so either you go with this way or that way you able to capture the features but for that you make sure you extracted the features with the help of this feature extraction command okay so that is the um, idea behind that okay let's uh, again try to go back and try to uh, construct few more cases with the help of that let's go to the uh, another test case let's say test case number four okay so few more changes we're going to do here so it give you the idea what change you do and what uh, differences you're going to get here okay so let's say we're going to change few entry here so let me first open the snappy hex dix file okay here what are we going to do we let's say uh, we say surface based refinement okay so that is surface based refinement let it be zero surface based refinement let it be two to four okay but what we do we uh, uh, we try to resolve the features angle equal to five okay in place of this let's say uh, i want more features resolution then check what have exactly happening okay so it give you the exact idea if we have more features uh, refinement then uh, what supposed to happen when we execute this snappy hex mesh file okay so let's go to the fourth one okay so please remember here we uh, change this resolution features okay so from here to here everything is same only from here to the fourth one we changing the resolution features okay so this both give the same setting what it mean if you uh, change level equal to zero here and give here is four it is same or you gave four here and uh, the surface refinement is a two to it both give you the same result with a fixed uh, features resolution now let's change the resolution angle so if you change the resolution angle let's see what going to happen okay so first let me copy the file this one here as well fourth one we are looking at okay so let's open so this is third one let's open the fourth one okay and here again we want only the surface so look when you say higher features resolutions okay so look here features resolution equal to 60 okay here we gave a its value equal to sorry here we gave its value equal to 5 for this one okay so when you go from smaller value there is a chance to resolve more features when you go for higher feature resolution you are losing the features okay so with this angle you can get a uh, better features resolution as well okay 
so this is uh, futures resolution angle okay let's in this again change let's say levels okay so what going to happen uh, let's very quickly we try to uh, see so with this let's go to the so you understand huh? so when we try to change the features resolution angle you get a better capturing of all the tiny surface as well okay so when you go with a higher features uh, s s sorry smaller value of features resolution uh, you have better capture when you go for higher features angle you have a you are losing the information okay so but best one is something like 60 is the best optimum angle so um, it not go for too much uh, refinement of the curvature and all these things okay let's uh, do few more thing here let's go to the case number let's say 5 okay in the case number 5 what we are going to do we do going to do certain few more changes let's say uh, our first features angle let set to 5 only let's features angle uh, let set to 5 okay then explicit uh, refinement level explicit refinement level that means this one let it be a higher value of 6 and this let it be a value 2 to 4 okay so if you do that okay so what going to happen just check okay so we have better refinement near the this extracted surface okay so that means whatever the extracted edges that is this all the peripheral edges we going to get a better refinement because we we gave a higher level near to that particular uh, place okay so let's execute uh, at a fifth level case number five so let's look at what going to happen with this so i'm keeping this here i'm i going to open the fifth one here okay so this almost done So now we have more number of cell near the edges, so it's going to take a little bit more time. Okay, so that is what we have. So whatever the edges and whatever the features we want to resolve, based on that we have to tune the parameter. Okay, so that is what we are exploring with different parameter, what different setting we're going to get. Okay, so it gives you the idea for your own calculations okay when you want to construct your own mesh at that time if you have idea what parameter you tune and what uh, immediately uh, what will reflect on the mesh size then it is a very straightforward way to understand the things okay so let's wait for i think couple of few more moment yeah only mesh checking is going on so let me copy again our this file okay let's open here okay so i'm opening fifth case so you it give you the idea what is the difference we have okay let go to the last part switch off it don't want this only want this one okay and let's go to here so look when you gave six level okay so here we have we if you look at the differences okay so again please uh, come back here so here five okay two to four okay and here we gave zero in this case we gave six two to four and five okay so that means we have a better capturing of all these edges okay so on the near the edge it's going till the sixth level of refinement okay so this base to base mesh to one two three four five and six level of refinement okay so this is what difference you will observe here okay so this is uh, that one let's construct the few more uh, cases with this so Control C Control V. Let's construct the six number of test case, and here let's uh, look at few more changes. So what we going to do? Let's uh, features age refinement. Okay, that is this one is zero. Let it be. Okay, and uh, if we have a features base refinement equal to zero, okay, 
uh, let it be okay and surface base refinement let it be 6 2 to 6 okay and here let it be a 60 okay so we are not uh, going with uh, high resolution so but we want to capture a nicely entire surface so we are increasing this resolutions okay so let it be 6 and with the help of that let's uh, execute this particular test case okay, so let me go to the area okay so let's execute this few commands So let me copy our required file. Okay. So that I am going to open here. Okay. So this is sixth number test case. So this time we have a large number of element because we gave the surface base refinement level two to four. Okay. So when you go for higher features resolutions, uh, that means uh, re reducing the features angle from phi 60 to phi, you have a, on entire surface you have a uh, finer mesh, that means something like this way or something like this way, okay, as compared to this look. But when you stick to the 60, you have a uh, finer mesh near to the wherever is needed, okay. So 60 is the optimum I say angle and it gives you the uh, better control with a lesser number of the cell okay let me open the sixth one and let's see the surface okay, look so if you see here away from this we have a coarser mesh here because our resolution is uh, angle is phi so everywhere we have finer mesh but uh, here we have a fine capturing by this way almost same look okay so we have a fine capturing here okay so let's uh, again uh, understand everything one more time so without features extraction we not able to extract either of the age okay so let me put it here this one so when you start resolving the features we able to extract or able to capture this curvature okay then we think okay let's go to the next level and uh, let's try to resolve this all the age correctly so what we did uh, in this second stage we uh, didn't change anything but at the features level we gave the more levels okay so we able to capture this one nicely then we 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 change further we say okay i don't want to control by uh, this uh, features level i can control by surface level as well so i say 2 to 4 if you do with go with the 2 to 4 okay then this is our th third case okay you have a similar type of the result okay so either you go with the features base value either you have a 2 to here 2 2 and here you give 4 or you have a 0 here and here you have a 2 and 4 it give you more or like a similar result okay then what we did then we say okay uh, I want this is 0 this is 2 to 4 only but I want to change the features angle so when you go with the changing the features angle okay what we going to observe is we have a finer mesh everywhere okay so if you look at this and this mesh on this section it is same okay why it is same because we didn't change anything about this setting we have a 2 to 4 and here 0 so it we didn't change but we change the angle so when you change the angle you will see you have a better mesh on entire surface of this particular ellipse okay so everywhere wherever needed it try to resolve okay very neatly like this way so then what we did okay from here to here we say it is 2 to 4 and i want let it be a 6 level very fine mesh and let it be an angle equal to 5 so if we uh, go with this class of the things then uh, what we so we are at a fifth so we want six one let it open here so if we do that we have a look on the surface you have a away from the edge you have a same distribution okay but near the edges okay because we gave the sixth level of refinement okay so this we didn't change okay but we gave here six level of refinement so we have fine edge then at the end what we did we come back to the 60 angle okay 2 to 6 refinement and here we gave the 0 okay so if you do that okay so let open this file here 
if you do that look uh, so away from this edge you have a coarser mesh even on the surface you have more like uh, coarser mesh similar like this way okay but uh, near the edge you have a mesh that will refine one okay something like this way and we have a coarser mesh away from all the edges so this is how you can control castle mesh control and try to look at the mesh base refinement okay or the features base refinement so this is a very very powerful tool and you can control very neatly all these um, things okay so this is how you can control very quickly different class of refinement so i hope you understand uh, these features